Hello everyone, Sergeant274 here. I'm um, back with episode 5 of my installment of the, or my beginner's guide to Dark Souls. Um, last time we took on, we, we beat Havel um, and we got his ring, which is why I'm able to fast roll with the full, almost the full set of night armor, or not night armor. Um, is this night armor? Hard leather. Hard leather armor. And we also took on and defeated the Taurus Demon, who was on this bridge. So right after you defeat him, um, you have quite a few souls, uh, and you don't really want to waste those. So we have to find a bonfire so we can utilize um, those souls and level up. So, all right, we come down here, all right, new players. You've probably seen by now, I mean the game's been out for two years, that there's a dragon that comes down this bridge and burns you <laughs> when you try to run down there. What to do? Well, all you have to do, come over here and then run back and look. Hellkite will come down there, burn everything, and you're safe. And now he's just kind of sitting down there. And trust me, that's a better position to have him be in than trying to run down there initially, because you see he got the entire bridge there. And you're not fast enough, I don't think, to get down there. But before you take on that, come over here, talk to Solaire. Again, I'm not going to spoil lore or anything, really, in this walkthrough, or this uh, beginner's guide. But say yes to him. Say yes, he will give you the white sign soapstone, which lets you leave your summon sign down and engage in jolly cooperation. And if you talk to him again, yeah, you can you can you can actually kill him here if you wanted to, but there's I don't know why you would honestly unless you just want to be an ass. All right. Anyways, so now Hellkite's down there. You see there are two treasures down there. One of those treasures is the claymore, which is a very popular weapon and a weapon we will be using. So, how to get to the Claymore? Well, first things first, we're going to get to a bonfire. So just run, and don't worry about it. He will breathe fire, but it will not be before you can't duck out the way. Actually, he won't even breathe fire. Look, you can, you can stare at him there. All right, so come down here. Kick the ladder before you jump down. Make sure to kick the ladder, because if you jump down without kicking the ladder, you have to go through that whole area again. Alright? So, alright, another thing we're going to have to figure out here is we need the short bow. And we're going to equip our wooden arrows. Short bow takes 12... Okay, so we're good. I was going to say, I, I wanted to know how much... Uh, uh, in or, uh, excuse me, decks we needed for that, but <coughs> that's pretty much it. We, we don't need more decks, because we're going to get the Drake Sword, too. So, what we're going to do now, is, since this is a quality build, we're going to put that up to 14 and get that bad boy up to 20. So now we have 20, 14, and how many more do we have? Three more? Um... Because I'm hoping for a Black Knight Sword Drop. That's why I'm going up to 17 there. I will cap it at 16 for now, and we'll throw one into Vitality. Um, because Vitality will come in handy eventually here. Alright, so we're at 2016, and we threw one point into Vitality. Alright, and that's pretty much all we can do at this point. We can reverse Halloween. I'm not going to do that because I'm playing online, and I really don't feel like getting invaded. especially during a tutorial slash guide video. All right, so there are two ways to go through this area. You can come over here. Actually, we are going to come over here because I, I was going to show you how to get the Drake Sword. Um, again, this guy, just circle around him, backstab him, and he gone. All right, this guy here, spear guy, thrusting attack backhand. He's going to heal. You're going to whiff on that. Whatever. Alright. To get the Drake Sword. Come over here. 
bust out your bow. Shoot his tail off. Whoops. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Especially if I keep missing. <laughs> um, you can shoot. I wonder if you could shoot it over here when it comes down. Uh, probably could. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, but this is how you get the Drake Sword. And it's good, like I said, it's going to take a while because I have wooden arrows. I don't even have standard arrows. I have wooden arrows. So, yeah, I will fast forward this part. Um, and see you when it's, when I get it. Okay, there we go. It took a while, but we got the Drake Sword. Now, one thing about the Drake Sword, okay? People nowadays call it, oh, it's a noob sword, all this and that and crap and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. Who cares? If it's a better sword and it, um, you know, works well for your play style and helps you in an area, who cares if you're using it or not? I remember I got this game when it first came out on PS3. And people were discovered how to get the Drake Sword. And they're like, oh man, it's the best it's the best early game weapon. Oh, so OP. And everyone was getting it. And now people are saying it's a noob sword. But you know what? Who cares? Don't don't listen to them. If you want it, get it. Because you see here, um, compared to the long sword, whoops. <laughs> compared to the long sword, Drake Sword is 100, 200 attack power. The long sword is 106. The Drake Sword, it does not scale. Who cares, though? Honestly, who cares? Right, because we're not going to be using it for long, but at this point in the game, if you did not get the Black Knight Sword Drop, it is by far the best weapon you can have, unless you did one of those suicide runs. But as a beginner, this is pretty much the best weapon. Okay, come up the stairs, run over here immediately. Immediately. When I say immediately, um, I can't stress that enough. How did that guy stay alive? Alright, come back over here. Kill that guy. You can also farm souls here if you wanted to. Um, we're not going to. <laughs> but we want to get... There's a bonfire in there. That's the Undead Parish. So we want to get in there. So in order to get in there at this point in the game, we have to get rid of that dragon. How do we get rid of the dragon? I don't mean kill him. There. He comes down. Just run by him. Just run by him. <laughs> I didn't say this guide was going to be perfect, okay? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> Let's try that again. 90% of the time it works. You saw the 10% of the time where it doesn't work, okay? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to collect our souls, too. Come up here. Run over here. They will die. You will not. Collect your souls. Let him breathe his fire. And we will try this all again for the second time. Trust me, it works, people. Any second now, Hellkite. Come on, little dragon. Come and get me. Come and give me a little dragon. There he comes. Alright, maybe I'll just run between his legs this time. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Guys, I've done... <laughs> like, seriously, every time I play the game, I do this. It works, okay? Trust me. 
Trust me on this. <laughs> Alright, we're going to bust out that. And uh, that doesn't... I don't know. Alright, we don't need any of that. So we're just going to get some good defense. Fire defense, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully this is still fast uh, roll. You don't need to do what I'm doing right now, honestly. You can run by him. It, it works. Trust me, it works. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working for me right now. Whee! Kill everyone, please. Alright, where's my poor souls? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Maybe I should title this... Uh, noob guide by a noob, you know, or something like that. Oh my gosh. Alright, take three. <laughs> I don't believe this isn't working. Unbelievable. Okay, so he comes down. Run. That time we got it. Okay. Why it didn't work the time before that, I don't know, but whatever. So just come rest at the bonfire, and he will fly off and leave you alone. Alright, from here, these guys will be alive again. So you come in, this is a perfect time to test out your new Drake sword. You got one shot. Tell me it's a noob weapon. Well, you know what? It one shots these guys. No other weapon you can get in the game right now can do that. There you go. Can pillage a corpse, get the claymore, and you get a soul over here. <laughs> The claymore is a very good weapon, however, at this point in the game, um, it only has 137 damage output. At You can see it's a perfect quality weapon, CC scaling. Um, it's basically a great sword with a attack like the long sword, because there's a thrust element to it. But it is a really good weapon. In order to make it even better, though, obviously, you have to upgrade it to plus 15, which we will probably do, and, um, yeah, increase your, uh, strength index. You can come over here, kill these fruit loops, there's really no point in not doing it, or in doing it. Here's the sunlight altar, um, you need a certain amount of faith, or equivalent in co-op, to, um, access the covenant which is the warrior sunlight covenant solaris covenant alright guys so once you get here and use this bonfire pull up on this gate and now you have access to the undead parish portion which we will accomplish next time with our drake sword oh yeah don't feel ashamed about it it is still a very good sword okay alright thank you everyone for by the way this is the Dragon Crest Shield that I switched to. It's good against fire. This is a retexture that I downloaded. Normally it does not look like this. So if you get it and it doesn't look like this, you got the right shield. It's just a retexture. So, all right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.